Hey guys, welcome to my first tutorial video on how to make a successful AMV. Uh, well, I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, first, I will show you guys three most effective ways to make your video look cool and awesome. Uh, I'm going to use my Naruto video as an example and demonstration. So the first is Twitch Effect. Uh, it's a really easy and effective technique to improve your video. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like by comparing my video to the original clip. Uh, so there you go guys, uh, that's a really cool twitch effect that you guys can add to your video. Uh, not only you can add it to your video, but you can also add it to a text, uh, which is going to look super cool if this effect is added. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to create this effect. Uh, so I'm going to open up an image since my computer is really shit. Uh, I'm going to choose Killer Kill since it's one of my favorite animes this year. So if you have your video ready, uh, you want to go to Video FX and you want to type in Blur. And you want to go to the fourth one, uh, which is Gaussian Blur, whatever you call it, and you drag default onto your image and it's going to make your image like this. Uh, so once you have that done, uh, if you look at your the uh, the left side of your screen, you're gonna have this little chart. Uh, you want to make sure that both horizontal range and vertical range uh, are zero. So you want to set both of them to zero. So once you're done that, uh, you want to click on channel and you want to click off R. So ch uh, so you want to check it off, and you want to go to animate. So once you click to animate, uh, you're gonna see this these two boxes Gaussian Blur and Horizontal Range so I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so yeah uh, so you click on the column of Horizontal Range like maybe like two frames or one frame and you wanna go up and you wanna increase uh, and drag this um, Horizontal Range at, top, at the top so you do the same thing for every for every maybe two frames uh, the number it, it always depends on what video you're creating and as you can see this kind of effect is created it's really cool so you guys can always experiment with this effect uh, so if you go to the back and find uh, the R that you guys just clicked off and you click on the R it's gonna make your video uh, it's gonna make your make the twitch with no color like this um, so it's another little cool effect if you if you guys want, don't want any color. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, I really hope you guys liked my first tutorial. I know uh, I know I said I'll be introducing three effects, uh, but I'm gonna be continuing this tutorial on part two. Uh, hopefully, if you like this video, you want to check out part two. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed and thought this video was useful, don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys on part two.